I think being gentle is so important. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make you less of a man, it makes you more of a man. What else is a hero, you know? Someone who does the right thing. Baba was a was a very sensitive man. And I know some brothers brothers you struggle to be like very you killed it, yeah. You know? Your pain is so important. Yeah, welcome everyone to Bachit with Yuva. Um, I'm very, very excited to have uh, two guests over here who uh, I have recently loved their work in a film called Friday Night Plan. I am so glad that you are here thank you for making for, this absolutely lovely film. Uh, thank you for watching it. Thank you for yeah, yeah. enjoying it. Thank you for having us here. I want to, you know, um, Babel, you were so good in that role. And I just felt it was a very nice, subtle representation of mental health in the film. I, I want to hear your opinion about uh, uh, mental health number yeah. one, you know, yeah. uh, because again, lot of not a lot of young actors actually yeah. talk about this, mm -hmm. which I feel like is a shame because the more you talk, the more you normalize. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, did you did you tap into that energy, you know, or your understanding of of, of your own mental health mm -hmm. and try to bring that to the screen? Yeah. See, uh, one, I also I feel like the notion that people think mental health has just erupted now, mm -hmm. and now people suddenly have mental health. That's not true. Our fathers, our grandfathers, we, they all had mental health issues. They just did not have the awareness to address them. All we have now as a society is an awareness to address those issues. Yeah. You know, I don't think it's an issue. I just think it's a state of life. It's just a way of life where you uh, reflect, you uh, uh, recognize the way your mind is conditioned to think. You become aware of that and then you slowly start making adjustments to just the way you think because it can be changed and when you change little things in the way your thought process happens yeah. the way you feel about yourself changes completely so i think i tapped into that very strongly yeah what do you say hmm. uh, on days that you feel down what do you say to yourself i don't say anything to my like i don't wake up and i don't go to the mirror and I'm like you you know you're, you're the best you are because i just feel like you have to be very careful in the way that your ego you have to understand that you know where you're inflating your ego and where you're uh, helping your self belief like yeah. these are two it's a very thin line that can be diluted right but uh, more than self talk what i do is i first watch how my brain is speaking about me to myself you oh. know so in the sense that like say i have yuva right or i have something to do and i'm i wake up and my first instinct is to panic because of you know, ki, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. So I just look at that thought. I don't don't react to the thought. Just watch the thought come. See how it ma it is making me feel, and then logically address that thought. Like what, you know, what is making me feel? Like why are you speaking like this about me? Yeah. Or uh, why am I speaking like this about myself? And when I address that thought logically and I see it for what it is. When I've addressed it, the impact of it automatically goes away. I don't have to do anything. Yeah. But if I don't address it and it starts a chain of thought, then that's where I'm in trouble. Yeah. Because then I don't know where it started. So it's important to address the first block of, you know, your chain of thought. I love that. Wow. You all, I, I think this is going to be like wow, hard to relate to. Huh? <laughs> I really think it was an intelligent answer. Now, now coming to you, Vatsal, same actually question, you know, for me, I will come back to the idea that there's always this idea of heroes or the men mm. in the film, uh, on any film, especially films, right? To be seen a certain way. But it was, it was very, uh, you know, it was so, so nice and refreshing to see, you know, uh, the, the, the lead hero of a film not behave very so to speak heroic so i want to understand you know where first of all again is this some is this probably something that you have really worked towards very consciously that i want to showcase a certain kind of uh, either mental health or masculinity on screen and uh, and be like you know where does, where does this come from in your own life i'd love to hear uh, that sure uh, as a storyteller you have to have your take on it so my take on it always felt like my brother's journey as the older sibling was way more interesting in terms of a learning experience than mine because for me things were easier because my brother done it first mm -hmm. right uh, and what can be harder for an older sibling to have a younger sibling who's just on their nerves at all you know at every at every step of the way and the world rewards him for it <laughs> right so and that's happened to me my whole life uh, I'm not complaining about it, but I can imagine how hard it would have been for my brother growing up. But I think Sid is a hero. 
but he is the hero that you, you see every day. He is yeah. not the hero of, of your film who is trying of our mainstream films that are a kind of a missile. You know, you look up to them. They are yeah. they are people you can strive to be one day, but you know, I will never be like that. And what is a hero? You know. Someone who does yeah. the right thing. Mm. Uh, but I mean, if everything you are saying, uh, Babel, I am now curious to know what is your definition of what it means to be a, a man. Hero? I uh, what what Vatsal said. I completely agree with that. Uh, I also think just adding to what he said that uh, there are two kinds of heroes, and one is not better than the other. We can refine both, but it's not that what this hero is better than that hero. Like of course, what he said about the man that you see every day. the challenges that he's facing you know yeah okay they are not he's not fighting 100 villains at one go and you know he's not he does he's not doing all the larger than life things yeah. but the challenges he's facing for him they are you know they are that level you know they are like a war so that is a hero when he's you know battling those challenges and coming out on top every day and deciding to get out of bed and going through that day when your insides are screaming that is a hero and then there's the larger than life hero the larger than life hero right the way it has been presented it can be larger than life it can do all those things it can fly it can flip 100 people it can you know pick a car up with one hand but what if that larger than life hero was sensitive you know felt pain want was able to express pain didn't have toxic masculinity traits if we could refine that larger than life hero that is what my you know that is where i feel like i want to head where does this come from babel in fact from you why do you feel like this way what have you understood about yourself you know in in all the years that you've had yeah. growing up the way men treat themselves internally if they are not willing to be more sensitive to themselves if they are not willing to accept the pain and be able to express that pain and be willing to express that pain you you are weakening yourself as a man you are not living as a man you are living as a shadow mm-hmm. and that shadow is frustrated and it's irritated because you're not letting it be human yeah and that is a problem with men we are we have the the toxicity of masculinity comes from the fact that we are so frustrated it is we want to express pain we want to cry but you know we tell ourselves that men don't do that and that is that makes you a shadow that doesn't make you a man because yeah. i used to i used to see you know like a lot of me- men right in university the men that men that really thought they were men you know they were puff they were ripped and uh, all of those toxic traits that we talk about the way that they, that was reflecting was the way that they treated their girlfriends mm. that i always noticed you know there was a lot of ego and there was a lot of pride in uh, the way the, there was no, the, it was not gentle mm. and i think being gentle is so important mm. it doesn't make you less of a man it makes you more of a man mm. i actually just want to get into the person behind as i said i just want to get into your where are these opinions coming from or both of you right like i love what you said babel why do you feel like this baba was a, was a very sensitive man yeah. even though he was a sensitive man he was still away for shoots sure. and i was with mamma all the time living in mud island where i had no contact with people like it was <laughs> i was alone it was me my mamma it was my younger brother when he was born and it was the trees and the you know the beach and the <laughs> swimming pool and the little interactions that i had with people with the boys that were going to i see all the regular schools you know where with all the societal norms that were burdening them I would go and I would try to interact with them but I was just there was a there was always a disconnect like yeah. I was never accepted by the boys so I became really good friends with women it just yeah. it was not, it was just sure. it was great friendships that I had and I just grew up like that so I think at that time I used to feel so lonely but I'm I cannot I cannot imagine my life without that loneliness that loneliness brought so much depth to the way i feel and to the way i think and to the way i behave your pain is so important you know when you're feeling your pain you're just like oh i don't want to feel this but you realize later that man if i hadn't felt that pain who would i be you know 
like pain is so it it makes you like happiness is great and you need that relief but it is pain that really uh, makes you get in touch with who you are i think wow. in my opinion <laughs> not a fact wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a great bro oh, no, oh, sorry abhi <laughs> thank you guys wow. uh, babil you are an older brother right you are yeah. you are you have a younger brother yeah. and uh, uh, what's all your, your brother seen the film yeah i have also met Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he say uh, after seeing it? What did, what were his reflections on on the relationship show in the? Sure. Um, uh, I have a chance to say this now, so let me just say it for what it's worth. The character is not my brother. <laughs> okay. For for his sake, a lot of his friends, you know, they call me and like, you nailed it, man. He's just like this. I think he really like he see he's seen versions of the film. He saw it when it was rough and all sure. this. So it's not like. एक बार देख कैसे आंसू आ गया ऐसे नहीं बट ही वॉज लाइक आई नो हम ब्रदर्स यू स्ट्रगल टू बी लाइक वेरी यू किल डेट यू कान से दैट माई माउम तो वॉज लाइक सुपर मूव बट माई ब्रदर ही वॉज वेरी प्राउड दैट वॉज द द बिग थिंग आई थिंक यू नो वॉट मेड मी रियलाइज दैट ही इज रियली रियली लाइक द फिल्म इज द रिएक्शन टू ऑल द रिस्पॉन्सिस फ्रॉम दूर का फैमिली सो नाइस इन ऑल दिस and he's the one who enjoys that the most in the family yeah. i feel my brother so he hadn't seen the show when it i mean he saw the trailer and then he didn't see the first episode and then you know he's he's is going through something and then he messaged me two nights ago i think he's like i just saw the first episode and you know it's so well done and this and that is me this long message mm-hmm. saying like now i i just feel like you know i don't think i congratulate i mean i don't think i take as much part in your success as you take in mine mm-hmm. and after seeing today i just feel like i want to mm-hmm. you know because it's a massive indian what not and you know so i was so touched by that and i was like he's never said something as yeah. you know so nice uh, in that sense to me yeah what is your relationship with ayan right isn't it yeah yeah what's your relationship with uh, ayan like bro uh, one thing the baba passing had a huge impact on i think our relationship before that you are getting to the point of you know where we are now but the tragedy that struck our family i think that accelerated the growth a lot but um, when we were younger ayan is a reserved person he is very introverted and he is very uh, choosy about his affection <laughs> but i am a very affectionate person and he's when he was small bro he was the cutest boy <laughs> like, i'm not kidding bro i'm not kidding. no 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 this is a fact so, i'm not kidding. like it's not my opinion he was <laughs> so bro he was so cute and i wouldn't be able to resist no i would just hug him and not give him kissy attacks but that was my choice yeah. i made that decision to give him affection now if he does not want to give me affection back <laughs> that should be okay oh god this is so it hard wasn't to okay to me <laughs> cuz i'd give him affection and then he'd walk away bro i'd feel so horrible bro i'd see my little younger brother walk away and that would destroy me like it would destroy my ego it would dis- so you know that those complications are always there then i'd take it out in football you know i'd not make him four times before <laughs> scoring the goal dekha bada bhai kon hai dekha and then and then i'd score the goal and uh, but yeah so growing up it was a lot of that me sure. needing his love he not giving me he he trying to make me understand that he's a different person me not understand yeah. but now i think we can just like i'm he's my bestest friend in the world like there is nobody i cannot imagine my life without my brother and he's so mature and mamas you know mamas they they feel they mamma you know so they don't look at बाबा तुम छह बजे नहीं उठ रहे तो साढ़े छह बजे कैसे उठे ये आधे घंटे प्रेशर ऑफ सोशल मीडिया इंस्टाग्राम फेम पब्लिसिटी दिस यू हैव इमेजिन दैट ट्वेंटी फाइव इयर ही ट्वेंटी ही ट्वेंटी इयर्स ओल्ड एंड ही टॉक्स अबाउट मी एज इफ आई एम यंगर देन Can you imagine, Mama, that twenty-five-year-old kid? I'm like, I am, I am. Listen, I'm still paying the bills. Please, please address me as your older brother. Babel, obviously, we are all such huge fans of Irfan Saab, and you know, uh, and I, I must ask you, when you're making the films that you're making, you know, what is that one thing 
from him mm. you know that you try to bring in the films that you do mm. i never in performance i yeah. try to bring anything from him because the truth is that he never um, spoke about acting sure. like he never yeah. looked at it as uh, you know and he had reached that stage where he truly believed you know that more than uh, acting can happen if you learn how to live life but that was also his stage after you know like mastering the craft yeah. and understanding it. that is a different story but it's he taught me a lot of things on how to live life which now i am seeing that they reflect as an example like like uh, say uh, your the courage with which you accept yourself right and the uh, the fearlessness with which you face pain you know it's like uh, oh usne mujhe chhod diya are but main kya top cheez hu you know what i mean so you don't even realize when you go there you are actually suppressing this feeling with this thought mm. so the fearlessness with which you just stay with this thought and not go to your protection mechanisms mm. or your survival mechanisms that your brain throws at you so recognizing that you know uh i the last question that i have uh, uh, for both of you is uh, um you know given that your f- film is based in school now that you're all older and you've created this world of these lovely characters uh if you had if you had to tell your teenage self your school self something mm. uh you know now that as an adult what would you what is it that you would say? i wouldn't say anything because i because if i did it would interrupt um the uh anxiety that my younger self was feeling the anxiety that made me me right now because he felt it yeah. if i would say something to help him or guide him yeah. i think it would interfere with me koi acha bhi bol sakte hai i don't know ki theek hai acha acha hai good you're doing good good job <laughs> <laughs> stop don't quit playing football that's what i would say that i would say that why J- just <laughs> <laughs> Because because then you won't have to do many retakes and you shouldn't take that football. Oh, I had to do retakes to mess up. Yeah, and you know that. I was joking. I was a good player on field, bro. Yeah, very good player. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Football is somewhere I don't. I, all of the mm, if evolution goes away. Is you call me a bad player? We're on. <laughs> we're on. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it is true what he said. He had to struggle to to, to look like he doesn't know how to play. Wow. Uh, when he was Amazing. playing the game. What would you say to your teenage self? Uh, I guess what the movie is saying, which is you know, because the movie is about learnings from that that part of my life, uh, and I think what the movie is saying is, man, I know it feels like you have issues, like the like world is scary, but if you just do the right thing and trust the world a little bit, things will all work out. Uh, I think that's what that's what this movie is about. I knew that this is uh, this is the kind of conversation you know we'll get to have and I you know again I'm very grateful and I know that you know even everyone in the team is probably feeling this way because uh, you know we and and, and honestly is because we kind of do this work you know and uh, it's it's just nice to see that there are other folks who also feel this way write this way think this way it also makes us feel seen right like we are in many ways the company that is trying to make a few other folks feel seen and then you know every once in a while when you have you also feel seen when someone else refl- uh, reflects these kind of perspectives back at you so really grateful for both of you being here thank you so much for the film that you have made for the people that you are and uh, so thank happy you. to have you here thank you <laughs> thank you nikhil thank you, thank you to the team viewer not just for this for everything else you guys do also everything Thanks, all all the things you said about i think i said it earlier today also but It, it definitely works both ways. Yeah. So just happy to be on the other side. Thanks, thanks, thanks so much, Watson. Hi, I'm Babel, and you're watching me on VR Yuva. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hi, I'm Batsal. You're watching us on VR Yuva. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to follow more content like this, please keep an eye out for them.